up, guys? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis in the studio with Dana Ward, hey, as you usual. Guys. And we are super excited because joining us today is someone from one of our favorite shows, The Vampire Diaries. It's Robert Richard. All right. We start out with a high five. All right, all the way around. I just high feel five. Like we need high to. five. We love high five. Like yeah. That. You've actually been in this building before. Yeah. For the, for the Vampire Diaries. You auditioned here. Tell yeah. us about the process. You know, it's like uh, Vampire Diaries is a really high, you know, profile show. So they take it pretty seriously. Uh, I went in there and there's like, you know, people all in the hallways waiting around. Everyone's sort of like serious. And I went in and I did, you know, the best job that I thought that I could do. And they're like, no, that's not really <laughs> cracking right now. <laughs> so they sent me back and brought me back in and said, I know you can do a better job. And I uh, just took it really seriously and uh, did my second audition and then waited forever. And like two months later, they hit me back and they said, okay, you got it, sweet, you're coming to Atlanta. Well, they probably wow. can't tell you that you got the job because they probably don't want any info about the script to leak, right? right? Yeah, it's super secretive. I mean, even on set, we don't know what's coming next. Um, but uh, Julie Pleck is the head writer with her entire team. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have a clear understanding of what happens with the plot, what happens with the characters, and how everyone's sort of intertwined. And they just sort of go with that motivation and that's kind of how the scripts sort of come out. Now for anyone who hasn't been tuning in, uh, tell us your interaction with Bonnie as Jamie, your character. Well, my character was introduced because Bonnie went to find her mom for the first time. And when she got there, her mom had like this pool boy, <laughs> you know, living in the backyard. Like, what's going on here? <laughs> and so she's like trying to figure out, she's like, are you my brother or not? <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm not your brother. <laughs> Thank <She's> goodness. Like, <laughs> and then Elena's character is like, cool, good job. <laughs> so, um, you know, as she's getting to know her mom, her mom's sort of also a witch and possessed and it's sort of that, that sort of storyline goes. But um, over time, she's starting to learn more about who Jamie is and why he's there. And he sort of has this sort of protective nature over the household, over her mom, and then over her and over Elena. Um, in the first episode, uh, Jamie gets compelled to protect Elena. And uh, Paul's character comes and he's like, pumps a shotgun on him. He's <laughs> like, if you move, I'm going to shoot you. And he moves and he blows him away. So that's kind of like the introduction to Jamie. And uh, I like that because I like holding a weapon. Like, my favorite thing is <laughs> falling in love with a woman and holding a weapon. That's like my two things. And you got it all done, right? You got it all done on the Vampire Diaries. Absolutely. In so, your first episode, too. Right. The second episode, I'm like holding an axe. The third episode, I'm like <laughs> making out on a desk in a teacher's lounge. <laughs> I'm like, this is awesome. Yeah, not too shabby. Yeah. What's it and like working with Kat Graham? She's beautiful. I mean, she's like... She's very, uh, you know, she's artistic. I know, you guys look creative. ridiculous together. I know. Can I just throw that out there? Beautiful babies. <laughs> That's right, all the way, right? <laughs> no, she's gorgeous, and she's a sweetheart. And it's actually funny because um, she said to me, she's like, you don't even know who I am, do I? Do you? And I was like, yeah, you're Kat Graham. She's like, no, I, I've been over to your house before at one of your parties. Oh. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, for sure. But no, it's like... It's such a treat because she's so into what she does and she's so talented and um, I just think the entire cast is just effortlessly talented on the show. Our viewers are the biggest TVD fans out there, as are we. So of course I have to ask you some questions about the plot of the show. Okay. Bonnie, in the last episode, which is where you guys got romantic, right. um, which was very cool, by mm -hmm. the way, um, <laughs> she took a different sort of turn. Do you know what's coming down the line for her character at all? Well, yeah, I mean, with Bonnie right now, you know, I think it's about the sincerity of her friendships. You know, she's in this world where she's a witch and she's got vampire friends and the doppelganger's her best friend and her and werewolves and whatnot. And I think like all of us, it's very human to want to know that the people that are around you, people that actually love you for who you are, not for what you can do for them. Right, exactly. So I think what Jamie sort of poses for right now is sort of someone who doesn't want anything from her. Yeah, what was that mm -hmm. line in the episode where she's like, I always do, say, I'm always saving people. I'm always saving people. Yeah, she says, that to, she says that to me. She says, I'm always saving people, mm -hmm. which is sort of a vulnerability of her admitting that. But in a couple scenes before that, she walks outside and they're all trapped with the, the salt or whatever. Right. And uh, uh, Paul Stevens' character says, thank you, Bonnie. She says, I didn't, I didn't do it for you. Yeah, that's right. right. She did it for, you know, Essentially, she did yeah. it for, for, for Jamie because yeah. she wants her friends to sort of back off to the person that she's falling in love with and not have that sort of pressure to sort of use him as bait or as a victim to get her to, to do what she wants mm -hmm. to want her to do. 
So, um, so yeah, I think it's sort of like that balance of like, do I want to step into this sort of normal girl lifestyle or still live in this sort of supernatural where I'm dependent on, and is that sincere for my friends? Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Well, we just want to see Bonnie happy. So does so that do mean I. there's going to be some more romance, some more, I think people have already named you, is it, let's see, Jamie plus Bonnie, is it Jamie, Johnny? <laughs> Johnny. John, Johnny, what's I'm your Johnny. couple name? <laughs> I'm Johnny, that's awesome. No, I mean, that's, you really I just want the fans just to fall in love with Jamie. I know that uh, that Bonnie's had a crazy love life in the past. Oh, yes. And, you know, there's other characters, J Jeremy, like, oh, I want to be back with Jerry, all this stuff, and I'm sort of reading all the blogs. <laughs> so I'm just like, you know, I want to be the guy that, uh, you know, that the fans love and mm -hmm. that, you know, Bonnie can fall in love with. And some more human characters on the show. There's I not know. very many at this point. I know. Are I like you really human? I love representing the humans, man. <laughs> it's good, you know? So you are. I'm not saying more than I am or I'm not. I'm, <laughs> saying I'm staying in shape either way. <laughs> yeah, totally. So do you think we're going to be seeing you around in season four? Because we would love to see Jamie return. Yeah, I mean, I sure hope so. You know, that's what I'm pushing for. You know, I like having that, um, that open door of, you know, Bonnie feeling somewhat dependent on Jamie emotionally, whereas Jamie's dependent on her sort of to protect him, that kind of thing. And I think it's kind of hard for any guy to sort of have like the woman sort of be like wear the pants a little bit and have the advantage in the relationship. Um, so I think there's, he's gonna definitely try and flip that over and that's gonna happen in future episodes, hopefully. Oh, really? Yeah. So. Okay, I would like to see that. Totally. <laughs> and one thing with the Vampire Diaries that we've heard is that the cast really has become a family because everyone's so far removed from LA, shooting mm -hmm. on location in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. What kind of vibe did you get when you first stepped onto the set? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm an LA native and so this is like my hometown and you know, I know everyone in the city, and I feel a little bit like, you know, this is my town. I definitely have that sort of alpha male sort of appeal to anywhere that I go in the world, because I'm like, everyone wants to be in LA. But to go into a new circumstance where everyone's so close, you know, and I feel like, you know, I'm a big, big fan of, uh, of, of Paul Wesley, and that was like the first male that I had worked with. And I say that specifically because I had worked with so many females from the first couple days that I was there that, mm -hmm. you know, charm, you know, that kind of thing. You sort of break break the ice for everyone, make tell a few jokes, um, and I'm always good with the crew. But he was sort of the first male actor that's kind of like, he was kind of like letting me know, like, this is my show. Which I'm like, well, I'm on your show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I think that's cool because that first tension, that first scene there, when I go up to him and I challenge him, and I say to him, like, you know, you better step away. And he's like, you don't know who you're messing with. And he kind of like, like chokes Whoa. me or whatever. And he like lifts me up and he's like gonna compel me. I'm like, all right, buddy, hold on. I got a shotgun in the back. <laughs> Go grab it. Bye, you know? And, uh, you know, all respect to both to both Ian and, and to Paul. It's really their show and they own that show. But I definitely want to, you know, bring up the rear and be that big caboose in the back that's like leave the heavy lifting to Jamie kind of thing as far as, you know, bringing up the second storyline. Ooh, so I like that. Good. I love yeah. the confidence. That's great. Yeah. I'm, and we've got our fingers crossed, that's for sure. Yeah, for sure. Two I've, more episodes left. This I'm season. a big fan of the whole cast, though, and I, I kind of like, I've been there and, you know, um, I bring a lot of gifts to set because I like the people and I want to know that, like, you know, I'm here just to be a team player and I don't want to be the weakest link at all. So are there any, like, fun behind the scenes stories? Like, what are people doing when they're not shooting? Um,. I don't know, there's a lot of good food on set. Um, so <laughs> we got like steaks and lobster and chicken and all this stuff. So there's a lot of a lot of good food, but I feel like everyone's sort of just like really pouring into script. I know um, both the guys and the girls, they're always looking at the next episodes and how this episode relates to the next episode mm -hmm. and sort of always have their script and they sort of are judging whether it's a plot driven story in the next episode or a character driven story in the next episode and really diving into that. So that's one thing I definitely respect and I will want to continue to work with all those people because they're really fantastic. Well, congratulations on being on the show. I know, because, awesome I mean, stuff. Everybody in town wants to be on the Vampire Diaries. Absolutely. And you are. The best you show are. in town. Robert, you're on it. 
<laughs> it's the best show in town, for sure, hands down. And thanks so much for coming by the studio. Mm -hmm. We, of course, will be tuning in for the last two episodes. The season finale is next week, which yeah. I'm both happy and sad about. Yeah, you know, it's, it's more Vampire Diaries, you know. May the season finale, and you get to the next, the next season next year. Well, thanks again for coming by. It was so fun meeting you. Good and to see you, Robert. Good seeing you, too. <laughs> and you guys out there watching, make sure to stick with us right here on Clever TV for all the latest on the Vampire Diaries. I'm Jocelyn Davis with Dana Ward and Robert Richard, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.